Hey, what's up, guys? Maxstream here, doing episode one of my Drill Dozer Let's Play. Uh, Drill Dozer is a... I say this for, like, basically every Let's Play, but it's a game that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm gonna delete this file, because I didn't really do much in it. I mean, I got to World 2, but still. Um, but this is actually one of the very first video games in general that I ever played. Uh, I got my Game Boy Advance when I was, like, three... And not too long after that, when I was like four or five, I got Drill Dozer because I went to, I believe it was a Walmart one day, and I was just hanging out in the electronics section and I saw this game and I really liked the art style. Well, as a little kid, the character on the front looks cute, so I like him. But then from then on, I, my mom got me the game and it became one of my favorite games. I'm not sure if I actually ended up beating it when I was little. I probably should have been reading this. Um, Gallus with the, uh, it's too early to do voices. Heh, <laughs> don't sweat it, Grutch. She could take care of herself. Cause I'm cool. So yeah, essentially, I believe the story is that this organization has stolen our group's red diamond, or red emerald, one of the things. It looks like a chaos emerald. I believe it's just a diamond, though. Or a ruby. Or a sapphire. But um, Tish, that was a joke for all of you, those youth of you in the crowd who don't know what a joke is. That was it. But yeah, we we fell into a pit. Are you okay, boss? It's too early for boys. I forgot to get myself something to drink. Ah, uh, well, doesn't matter. You must have sprung a skeleton trap and fallen into a pit. Is your drill dozer still in one piece? I'd make a one piece reference, but I never watched it, so... Boss? Can you hear me, boss? You're still inside the drill dozer, aren't you? What? You're not? You've got to get back into your dozer. Hmm. You can still hear me, right? That means it has to be close by. Hop back into it. I don't even know what voice I was going with there. I mean, I could do the stereotypical old man voice that everyone does. Boss, I need you to get back into the thing. Oh, I'm old, so therefore my voice sounds all... Oh, I'm out of breath. My leg. Oh, my God. But, that's boring. It takes a lot more than a nasty fall to take a drill dozer out of commission. Just listen to that engine purr. I built it myself. I tightened every screw and greased every gear. I won't. It won't let you down. But you're gonna have to find a way back to the surface. I can fix you up back at the trailer. Just do whatever it takes to get out of here. You're tough, boss. Show them what you got. Your drill dozer is still working, so you should be able to get out of here there. Why don't you snoop around a little? So we're kind of dizzy, but we could still do the basic stuff in the game, which would be... Is there a secret back here? No, there's not a secret. Uh, we, you could still do the basic stuff like jump, and duck, and duck jump, and, and jump, and jump duck, which doesn't exist. And then you, some, every once in a while you come across weak walls, and if you press L or R, you get to spin your drill. Uh, R is to spin clockwise, L is to spin counterclockwise. You know, like it actually does. But yeah, press the R button. Or the L button. One of the two. I prefer the R button. Joe Dozer would have made such a cool character for Smash Brothers, but they got relegated to assist trophy. I mean, I guess it's cool. Their attacks were neat. But they got pe they got rid of her in, um, what's it called? Smash Bros. 4, which is kind of upsetting, because she was really cool. And... Her assist trophy was awesome. Uh, cries inside, but audibly. Uh. Boss, you're in the scope of the hideout. Keep on busting through the base, but watch out for traps. Yep. So we just gotta keep moves here. What do they say? Attention, skulkers, business minions. Business minions must always put on a fake smile. Thug minions are required to frown or look intimidating at all times. 
press start to reach the save menu. If you pr need help, press select and then press a the A button to read the help file. Oh yeah. Okay. That's, that's neat. Never knew about that. And start to save, sleep, exit, and back. Press start to save, sleep, exit, and back. Back is my favorite option. No, it's not. It's front. Oh, there's a special wall. Hey, Jill. Let me tell you real quick about that self-repairing barrier up ahead. The skulkers keep their hideout heavily guarded. Self-repairing barriers? What are you babbling about? I'm saying this thing can repair itself even when it's being drilled. You're gonna have to upgrade your drill dozer's gear just to drill through it. Luckily for you, there's a gearbox nearby. Look around for a bright red box. Okay, why do the skulkers keep something that's useful to me around? That seems kind of uh, detrimental to the cause of hindering me and making it so I can't move on ahead. Right now I'm confused because I'm freezing cold and I'm wearing a blanket, but it's supposed to be burning hot out. And I'm not sure if it's actually burning hot out, because at the moment, I'm just feeling kind of... ick. Shifting up to another gear adds a lot of power to your drill. When your drill is running, press R at just the right time to shift. Right now. When you see shift up, press R again. <clears throat> Remember, press R when you see shift up to shift gears. You have to hold R after shifting up to keep your drill spinning at max power. Go on, give it a try. I got an okay. Learning to shift is learning to shift up is important. It's easily your most powerful weapon. Don't worry if you're not great at it now. You'll get better as you go along. If you forget how to do anything, press select and then press the A button to read the help file. Yeah. It's just telling me info we found in the previous room. But now we can drill through this wall because it's not going to be able to repair itself in time because we're going to kill it. Dead. Like a rock. But not. Ugh. Ugh. Your new gear will have your, you destroying stuff even faster than usual. You keep your, you should keep your drill spinning even while you're moving around. That way you can protect yourself from incoming bullets. I guess that's cool. This is really cool. Yeah, so... <laughs> I don't know why I said I guess that's cool. That is really cool. Your drill is powerful enough to just deflect bullets. That. I'm, I was still drilling, so I wasn't able to turn around and hit that dude. But yeah, these are skull thugs, I believe they're called. I'll put it on screen if I'm wrong. Uh... I'll go to the official Wikia for Drill Dozer. You know, that game that is so unknown that I'm pretty sure almost nobody's done a let's play of it. And I wanted to do it justice, but I only have like 20 subscribers at the moment. So that's not really gonna do anything for me now, is it? But if we go up here, I believe, yeah, there's an electric floor over there. Oh yeah, and you can't move forward while dr drilling, I believe. Which is a weird mechanic, but okay. But, oh, I almost walked right into that electricity. But up there we get some more chips. Chips are useful because, uh, you could buy things and upgrades and stuff. Was there something down there? Well, now we'll never know. I'll show, I'll go back later at the end of the video and show what, show off what that was. I'm taking a lot more hits than I should be taking on the first level. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played this game in, like, I don't know. When was the last time I played it? I was five. So, 11 years? Yeah, 11 years. That's about accurate. I wanted to be cool, and I wasn't. Thinking about it, if Jill wasn't Smash Brothers, she'd have such a complicated meta, wouldn't she? There are all kinds of crazy lifts in this factory! See that one above you? It's called a socket lift. Drill into that socket, and you'll latch onto it as long as you spin your drill. Yeah, so basically, it's a, it's a thing that allows you to move places. 
and I wanted to make sure. And if you press L while drilling something, you shoot out. But if I do that here, I'll probably go off uh, into the distance, and I don't want to do that. Not into the distance, but I'll probably fall be be below those two platforms. But if you're drilling into something and you press the o the opposite direction, you go shooting backwards, which is a very cool mechanic because it allows for some pretty cool puzzles later on. Oh yeah, in case you haven't noticed, this isn't really an action game, it's more of a puzzle game than anything. Because you have puzzles to solve them. Like a puzzler. And shift up. And up here we go. And we destroyed that one dude. Who I forget the name of. Ah, he, for this one we need... This looks like the exit, but they blocked it off. You'll need a third gear to drill through that barrier like butter. Butter's good. Butter's really nice. But yeah, if I drill onto this thing, and shift up, and press the opposite direction, I go flying backwards. And now we have... Ooh, that almost sent me into the electric... El electricity. And into this door. There was probably someone down there, and I probably should have checked, and this door is probably gonna lock behind me, isn't it? No! Nice. Oh, and that was a bullet, but let's just ignore that because I'm fast enough to just walk into doors before bullets can reach me. And boom. Down we go. That could have been. I've already seen that. And down below this thing, and I forget what's down here. Probably should have done my research before doing this, but you know, tomato, tomato, potato. Sorry, tomato, tomato. What is it? You say tomato. I also say tomato. Show me someone who says tomato. Actually, I wonder if Squishy says tomato. Tomato. I'll have to ask him. And boom. I reverse shifted out of that. I keep using R. You can use L. And it appears on the other side of the screen, and it's blue. And I like blue, but L is on the same side as the A button, and it kind of puts stress on my right hand. Because I'm doing playing this on a keyboard. Because I can't record a game like that. Because I don't have the money for that. And I don't want to use a camera that I don't have. Because I don't have a camera. Oh, and we just got the third gear, I'd like to add. The third gear is pretty awesome. What the third gear does is... Ooh, whoa. You just found a third gear. You've got to try that thing out. Hold down R when you hit the highest gear to keep the drill spinning. At third gear, you're born, you're, you'll be boring through blocks like butter. Bust down everything in sight and show them you mean business. Yeah, but first of all, the music changes here, which I'll be quiet for for a second. It's very much different from the music that plays normally while you- Your drill will never stop going. You can keep going as long as you want, and just drill through everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Everything's a good number. It's my favorite number. You think you can stop me? Ha! You cannot stop what you can. Keep your drill spinning to defect this keep your drill spinning to deflect incoming fire. Just don't drill into missiles or bombs or you'll be sorry. And if you want to cancel out immediately, you can just backwards. Backwards? That's you can just backwards. Backwards is my favorite way to it's my favorite action. But yeah, as you can see, we're deflecting bullets. And now we can drill down and we bounce on things whenever we drill from above them, which I find kind of amazing. And that kind of reminds me, what game was I playing? Uh, Shovel Knight. I was playing Shovel Knight yesterday. Uh, if you watch, well, if you watch Lapis Bomb's live stream, you probably saw it. Uh, speaking of which, uh, unless I decide to upload this video at a different time, actually, never mind, I'm not going to say it because I might upload before it happens and I don't want to spoil anything, even though we talked about it on the live stream. It's still good to keep an air of surprise for people who didn't watch the live stream, you know reasons and now we go down into here 
wherever here is. This, this, this game doesn't have area names, it confuses me. It confuses me. Yeah, but, um... What's a good story about this game? Ooh, actually, what's a good story about my, my Game Boy in general? Um, I originally had this old Teen Titans game for the Game Boy Advance, and I loved it. It was amazing. But at one point, I accidentally, uh, took off the cover, you know, the little designs or the game art that's on the cartridge? I accidentally scratched that off, and I thought my mom would be mad at me if she saw, so what I did was I hid it in the back of my closet, but I wanted to go back for it later, because at the moment I was playing a different game, but I wanted to play it later. The next day, I go back into my closet, I go to the same exact spot, and it's missing. And my mom never knew about it, because she never found it, so she couldn't have taken it. I never told anyone about it, so they couldn't have taken it. And to this day, we still don't know where it is. So that's kind of terrifying. Speaking of closets, another weird thing that happened with my closet. I had this little, um, toy jeep thing that actually worked. It ran on batteries, but it was like a miniature jeep thing that I would take outside and I would go for a drive, quote-unquote. And I said, oh yeah, when I'm 16, I'm gonna know how to drive immediately, because I know how to drive this little jeep thing. I didn't, I'm, I still don't, I haven't even went for driving lessons to get to driver's ed or whatever. Look ahead. Look out, there's a tank up ahead. This story, try drilling into the hole on its nose. This story is going to have to be put on hold for a while because we have a new boss, which I will put... That was a bomb. And let's try drilling into its nose. And shift up all the way. Uh, and it only goes halfway. Oop. And, and now it's dead. Yeah, um, but that was kind of easy. Now, uh, continuing with the story. Um, we kept it in my closet. The same closet. That the Teen Titans game went missing from. Don't forget that you could drill the other direction, boss. I know. Press the opposite rota button to rotate your drill the other way. The opposite of R is L, and the opposite of L is R. Wow. I never knew that. I don't have to draw you a picture, do I? Anyways, uh, we put the Jeep in the... Oh, we have to go left for this one. Oh, no, we do have to go R. Uh, I put the Jeep in my closet whenever I wasn't using it. The same closet that the Teen Titans game went missing from. And then, uh, one day I went to go use it, and there were just these red boxes. And it- I was scared. I was like, what is this? What- how could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. What happened? And I told my mom, and I was like, where'd the Jeep go? And she's like, I have no idea where it went. Well, but I knew where it went. I knew she did something with it. I don't know what, but I knew that it was gone because of her. But being the, the cool kid I was, the one who still pretended to believe that I got your nose trick, uh, although in reality I knew that that wasn't my nose. My nose and my mom's finger are completely different colors. Who does she think I am? I'm not a fool. Get on my level. I knew that she did something with the jeep, but to make her feel like I didn't know, you made it back. Right on, I'll come pick you up. To make her think that I didn't know, I ended up uh, saying, I think the red boxes stole my jeep. We should kill the red- I didn't actually say that, but in my mind, I was thinking, should I say, we need to kill the red boxes, but I decided, eh, I'll wait for my murderous intentions to come out, I don't know, but I'm 15, so about 10 years from now. Speaking of which, we just beat, uh, Area 1. Area 1-1. And our drill dozer is kaput. That's like one of the funniest animations I've ever seen. Just it bouncing up and down. It's funny. And it lost the first two gears. Whoa, your drill dozer really took a beating. Your drill dozer's gears won't last forever, you know. They get worn away over time from hard use. Don't sweat it, though. I'll patch her up best as I can. Best as I can does not make me feel good about it. It makes me feel like you're gonna try, but you're not gonna try your hardest. You're all fixed up. The only thing is, you're back down to one gear. Other than that, your drill dozer should be just as new, just like new, cutie. 
Guillermo. You can't disrespect your boss like that. You know those skulker thugs roughed up her dad, Doug. Uh, he seems uh pretty roughed up. So, oh, sorry. So Jill is taking over as the boss as the red of the red pills as well. She, he, well, he's still recovered. He's the boss now. You can't call her cutie. All right, all right. It's just a nickname. Sheesh. So, you managed to rescue from it. You managed to escape from that trap. But this time, we're taking back the red diamond that they stole from us. We're going back. We're getting revenge. And you can't do anything to stop us.